Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial in which we're looking at the operands or the effects that you can apply to shape layers. Now in this tutorial we're going to look at two different ones, we're going to look at rounded corners and we're going to look at strokes. I've got two polystars here which have got no fill, but they do have a stroke and you can see up the top here that the stroke is 6 pixels wide. And I'm going to apply an operand that's going to affect both of them, so I'm going to select the layer at the top, I'm going to go to add and I'm going to go to round corners. As soon as you go to round corners, it's a single dimension effect. All you do is change it and you can make your items that much more round. Simple as that, not a very complex item. However, when you start to use it, I'm just going to turn my pass off here, in conjunction with other items, such as if I go to add and I go to pucker and bloat, and I start to open up pucker and bloat, I'm going to get some very different effects than if I didn't have rounded corners. So if I turn round corners off, that would be standard pucker and bloat, round corners bring in some very beautiful looks. So it's a great effect to use in conjunction with other things. So for example, I'd like to add a stroke. Notice we can add fill strokes, gradient fills, gradient strokes. I'd like to add a stroke, but I want the stroke to actually go on these items. If I just click stroke here and I open up the stroke, you can see it's white. Uh, let's change it to say blue, but I can't see anything it's not actually showing. What I need to do is take this stroke inside the polystar that I'm working on. So if I take this stroke and I drag it and drop it inside polystar 1, can you see that polystar 1 is highlighted and let go? And I open that up and I've got my stroke 2 below my stroke 1. Now the reason I can't see it is because the new stroke, the stroke I've created, is firstly below in the stack and also it's only 2 pixels wide, whereas my original stroke is above in the stack and it's 6 pixels wide. So the simple answer is to take stroke 2 and put it atop stroke 1 and there you can see it's over the top of the item and we can get some very interesting results. Notice also that it comes with the option to add blend modes. So if you wanted to you could change the blend mode to give a different type of look and you're creating some wonderfully different colours and effects simply by adding another stroke and blending it with the stroke underneath. Now obviously, as long as the stroke underneath is wider than the stroke above it, you can have as many strokes as you like layered on top of each other to give a multi-layer, multi-colour stroke if you want. But as you can see, it adds a really nice effect. So, that's how to use the stroke effect, how to use round corners, and the fact that they always work really well with things like pucker and bloat and with the repeater that we looked at in the previous tutorial. My name is Andrew Davis. I hope you found this tutorial useful and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.